If you are in a season where you are ready to grow or scale your business, then tune into this next episode. I'm going to tell you the difference between growing and scaling your business and which strategy you need for each one. So I'll see you there. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Work Hard, Live Soft, where we talk about how to build a successful business so you can have the freedom to live a life you love. I actually just got off of Instagram and did a little live Q&A, and I had a really good question. Somebody asked, how do I scale my business? Which I think is a great question, but before I answered their question, I wanted to talk about and clarify do you know the difference between growing your business and scaling your business? Because we use those terms interchangeably and they're two different things. And it's really important to make sure that you ask the right question to make sure you get the right answer. One of the things that's really important when you are growing your business is just really understanding that every single strategy cannot apply to the season you are in your business. So if you are in a season where you need to focus on growing, but you have a strategy for scaling, or you're in a season where you need to be scaling, but you have a strategy for growing, you're not going to get the result that you are looking for. So before I answer the question of how do you scale your business, let's talk about the difference. When you are growing your business, your goal is to hit capacity. And when you are scaling your business, your goal is to expand your capacity. And so an example of what that can look like is when you're growing, you want to think about first, what is my existing capacity? And you also want to understand that everybody's capacity is different. And as an entrepreneur, you get to choose what you want your capacity to be. Typically, when you're working a nine to five and you're working 40 hours per week, you're working 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And so you know that everything that you need to do that you need to get done needs to be done within those 40 hours. And whenever you go beyond the 40 hours, you are expanding your capacity or you are extending your capacity, meaning you are overworking. So when you're deciding on your capacity as an entrepreneur, you have to consider two things. One, you don't have to work as many hours as you did in your nine to five, but at the same time, until you're making the money that you want, you might actually find that you're working more than 40 hours. So let's just say you kind of want to meet somewhere in the middle and you define your capacity as Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, you're off on weekends and you don't work on Wednesday. Your capacity now is four days a week and then you have to decide your hours. Let's say that you want to work 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. Your capacity and your goal in this growth phase is to make sure that you are booked and busy. That's all the growth phase is about, being booked and busy. From 8 a.m. to 4 p.m., you should have clients, you should have your calendar filled up, whether it's with coaching calls or whatever your service is, right? Whether it's with coaching calls, um, whether it's doing people's hair, whether it's... Um, you're a therapist, you wanna make sure that you are at capacity. So you're working Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and you are working and you don't have the capacity to make any more money because you don't have any more time in your schedule. Then if you wanna continue growing, you can now open up your space and say, I'm gonna work on Wednesdays as well because technically you're not fully at capacity in terms of the time spent in your week, unless that time on Wednesday is spent doing something else and you are off. Now, what I want you to think about is when you are growing, you also want to make sure that your capacity is in line with profits because where burnout happens is when you are working or you're overworking to capacity or beyond your capacity and you're still not making enough money in your business. Before you even think about scaling, when you are in the growth phase and you're at capacity, you should be profitable. You should be profitable at capacity or else you're literally wasting your time. Just go back to the nine to five, okay? So making sure that you are profitable while you're at capacity, this is about making sure that you are pricing correctly. You have to price for profit. When you look at the time spent, is the money you are making per hour exceeding what you need to make sure you are covering your bills, you have savings, and you can also invest. So making sure that you are pricing for profit. Now, once you are at capacity, then the two things that you need to think about in terms of scale is, I need to either go from one to many, meaning more people need access to me at one time, or I need more people on my team to help me fulfill this service. 
So you might have somebody come in on Thursday and Friday part-time to help you get more clients so that way you can be more profitable. Now, the thing that you have to watch out for when you bring somebody else in is that your profits are going to decrease when you go into the scale phase once if you have to hire, right? So you might be bringing somebody else in on a Thursday and Friday so that way you can, let's say you're going to make an extra $4,000 a week. So $12,000 a month and you're having to pay that person $4,000 a month. So your profit is $8,000 a month. So you also want to make sure when you are scaling, you are scaling intentionally and making sure that even if your profits go down a little bit, that you're not regressing. So everything just has to make sense. So I want to know, where are you? Are you growing your business? If you're growing your business, my recommendation is to collaborate with people, get on other people's platforms, making sure that you are marketing yourself, that you are consistently selling until your calendar is booked. Look at your profits. If you are not working with a bookkeeper or an accountant right now, I definitely recommend that you just monitor what your money is doing. You need to see how much is coming in. You need to see how much is going out. You need to make sure that the money is going out, that it is designed to either save you time or save you money or else it's a cost and not an investment. We want to be really mindful with our business expenses and our business costs that we are seeing them as investments. They should be making our life easier or they should be getting you back more time or making you more money or else it's an expense that you might wanna go ahead and eliminate. So in the growth phase, you definitely wanna make sure that you understand how your money is working because if you go into the scale phase and you don't have a relationship with your money, you don't know how it's moving, you're going to end up being burnt out again, you're gonna end up overpaying people, which I see a lot of entrepreneurs do this and I have been guilty as this as well. I've been guilty of this when my business grew rapidly and I started to scale and I hired for my revenue goal and not for where I actually was. Now, this isn't necessarily a bad move, but if you are hiring for a $2 million revenue goal and assuming you are um, assuming a 60% profit and you end up making 1.5 million and you only have a 30% profit, you're going to find yourself in a very tough place financially. So also making sure that when you are scaling and you are making the right investments and doing the right things that you are paying attention to where your time is going, to where your money is going, and that things aren't slipping through the crack while you are scaling. So I know this was a really short and quick episode, but for those of you who are looking to scale your business, it's really important that you understand the difference between growing, scaling, what strategies you need to implement, and making sure that you are profitable. Strive to be as profitable as possible and making sure that you have money left over and then consider once you are hitting your revenue goals, your profit goals, how can you now hit your freedom goals? How can you now have more time in your business? All right, y'all, until next time, keep working hard and working smart so you can live soft.